Hello YouTube, this is Joshua Timbugget and welcome back to another video of Link's Awakening. In today's video we're going to go ahead and make our way to Gopongo's Swamp and defeat the second dungeon, which is called the Bottle Grotto. So let's go ahead and make our way there. You can always explore the areas if you want to. If you go up, you'll be able to talk to Mr. Right. And go inside this entrance. You'll find some rupees in this treasure chest. And on the right, there's a treasure you cannot obtain at this time. You have to get the power bracelet. You can also go inside this hut and talk to old man, old Ryra. He'll give you hints if you're stuck. This is why you need uh, Bow Wow, because he eats these plants. Go ahead and acquire this treasure chest and get the rupees. And then now you can go ahead and enter the dungeon. Once Bow Wow eats the plants, of course. So here we are. Let's go ahead and begin. You'll need your mushroom powder in order to light these up. Go ahead and do that. And now make your way to the next room. You'll face these two skeletons. This new enemy likes to jump on top of you. Just make sure you avoid his attacks. And then this other skeleton, just make sure you turn your back on him and just use your nice little spin attack. Now use the key to go down here and you'll fight a shy guy. Just turn your back on him and use your spin attack to acquire your compass. Once you acquire the compass, you go to the right. There, they're going to introduce some switches that you're gonna have to hit. Let's go ahead and defeat the skeleton and acquire your next key. Once you do that, you go to the next room on your right. There you're gonna find another key. Press the button on the bottom right. You do that, you acquire your next key. Get the key and go to the next room. I like to go up and defeat these two shy guys here. You'll get your key, but you have to go back all the way and acquire your key. So you just make your way down, and then left, and up, and then right. I'm not sure if you could actually push the blocks or not. I didn't try. Maybe you can. Let me know if you if you could actually push the blocks or not. Down in the comments, of course. Uh, defeat these guys so they won't get in your way. Use your shield to block their attacks. Open up this door here. Here, you just have to push these blocks together. Once you do that, you're going to find some stairs, go down, and then just keep heading towards the left. Go up this ladder. Alright, so here you don't have to defeat the bat or light up the room. I just did it just to try to figure out if there's anything that I might have missed. But as you can see, you don't have to. And then you'll face the mini boss. He's fairly simple, just make sure you dodge as he's trying to grab you. He's gonna also throw bombs at you, just make sure you dodge him. Try not to stay so long on top of those cracks, cause then, yeah, you'll fall through. You can't hit in front of him, because um, it won't do any damage. You have to hit his back. Alright, so now let's go ahead and make our way to the top right of this room. You don't have to defeat these enemies here. Again, I try just to check if there's any secrets or anything. Uh, just go ahead and acquire your map here. Just keep in mind that thing sucks you in. As you can see. Alright, so defeat the enemies here. Acquire your magic powder. Open up this chest, reveal some rupees. And I'll make your way to the left. You're gonna find your power bracelet here. Inside this room, you'll face two ghosts. Light up the room, and then defeat them. 
There you go. Now we could actually lift items. Pretty cool. Make your way to the right. Hit this switch. Hit it again. And then acquire this key. You're gonna have to hit the switch again. There we go. And then keep hitting right. I tried defeating all the enemies just to see if there's a secret or anything. But there isn't any. At least none to my knowledge. We're gonna get those treasures at a later time. Once we defeat the boss. Go ahead and go down instead of this room. Go down. Don't go to the right. Go down. Alright, so here you're gonna have to defeat these enemies at a certain order. You first start with the enemy with the long ears, then the bat, and then the skeleton. That's the order you have to defeat them in order to obtain that nightmare key. Just go ahead and defeat all the enemies here, and then the secret passage will be revealed. Go ahead and go down the stairs. In order for you to make the platform go down, you're gonna have to carry a pot with you. Give yourself enough room just so you can squeeze through. And then you're gonna face the boss now. Don't worry about those other two uh, treasure chests that we left. One is rupees and the other one is the owl beak, which you don't really need. Because I'm telling you what to do. Anyway, so this boss is fairly simple. What I like to do is when it's going to start throwing fireballs at you, I like to hang along the wall, starting from the right side, and then just making your way down as he throws the fireballs at you. Just hug the wall. You should be fine. Once he rushes you, make sure you attack him, and then grab him and throw him on the wall. You're going to have to do this two more times in order to break the bottle. And then he's going to start a different pattern. Stand in the middle when he's circling around you. Once he stops, avoid the fireball by going to the other end of the room and attack him as soon as he gets close to you. You'll have to do this multiple times. Once you're done, collect your heart container and go to the other room and collect the conch horn. Thank <laughs> you.
Now, let's acquire those two treasure chests at the beginning of the stage. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.